Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about my most recent transformation, how I achieved it, and then what you can do to achieve something similar to it. So, I'm going to put up a photo on the screen, this was taken last night, I was working out and I was noticing how incredibly lean I had gotten. I'm talking about I had shoulder veins, chest veins, um, bursting out of me, the day before it, I noticed I had abdominal veins just going through my abs, um, and so obviously I'd gotten very lean like that, I, I messaged one of my doctor buddies and I was like, hey, uh, how often do you see this, and he goes, that's not normal unless you're incredibly lean or you have liver issues. Um, so I was like, dang, that's, that's cool. I'm, I'm incredibly lean. Look at me. Let's go. So let's delve into the training that I've done, what I'm doing outside of the gym, inside the gym to achieve such a lean look um, and lose the weight. Because currently I'm hovering at about 180. This is the leanest I've been at 180. I've been 180 within the last year, two years, and I've not been anywhere close to this lean. I've had muscle, but I haven't been this lean before. Uh, I would say that I've probably gained probably five, 10 pounds more muscle than I have from since last year. A lot of it in my back and legs. So this has the effect of naturally, you know, replacing fat as well as pushing out, um, distribute how your body distributes itself, making you look leaner than you might actually be. So it has kind of like a dual benefit of it in fact. So I'm probably as lean as I would be at like 170, weighing 180 last year, if that makes sense. So. 10 pounds of fat probably lost, maybe even a little bit more depending on how much muscle I gained, um, depending on how much glycogen's in my body, water weight and whatnot. Um, leanest I've been probably ever, uh, feeling diced. How did I get there? What have I done? So calories have been reduced quite low to about 2,100, 2,200. It's for my fight, I have to make 170. So obviously calories have to be reduced quite a bit and cardio has been up drastically. I'm running three to five miles, three times a week at least, in addition to hard conditioning sessions where I'll do the cell bike for 20 minutes, a um, minute and a half all out sprint, a minute rest, a minute and a half all out sprints, minute rest. I'll do the machine that's like the, the row with your hands, um, as well as jump roping continuously, doing my normal conditioning classes at Fearless MMA and sticking to my weightlifting routine. Now for weightlifting, I've been doing is I've been jump roping in between each set. So I'll do very little volume, but I'll do explosive work and then I'll jump rope for five minutes in between each set or jog or something similar along the lines of that where I'll run. And this is the idea that I'm burning passive calories, keeping my heart rate up, simulating the fight, as well as, you know, teaching my body how to recover better in between each moment. I want my conditioning to be phenomenal for the fight. So that's what I'm working on achieving. Phenomenal conditioning, training hard cardio wise every single day. And doing so has made me a lot leaner and I think also has enhanced the leanness look, making my veins stronger, making my arteries, veins, um, blood flow more optimal, making my heart healthier. I think this is contributing to the lean look significantly. I've never had shoulder veins, I've never had ab veins, I've never been able to see the crisscrossing muscles in my, or the crisscrossing, you know, veins in my biceps just relaxing. So leanest I've ever been, um, cardio I think has made my body much more optimal in regards to that, so obviously getting stronger or getting much more of a lean appearance. In terms of weightlifting, I probably haven't gained much muscle. In fact, I probably have lost maybe a little bit, but I think I've maintained the vast majority of my muscle strength. A little bit has been lost, unfortunately. I lost 15, 20 pounds. That happens. It's just kind of something I'm gonna have to deal with. Um, I'm still floor pressing, decent weight. I'm doing 225 or 230, 245 for my two by fives on the floor. I'm overhead pressing a plate for sets of five, standing up, maybe even a little bit more depending on the day. Um, leg wise, my leg volume has been cut a lot. I've been doing a lot of zercher squats in replacement of regular squats, just because of my shoulder injury, I can't really squat the best. Um, and CNS wise squats fry me out. Deadlift wise, I'm still doing very high amounts of weight. Um, I've switched to variations of deadlifts. So I'll do RDLs and I'll do deficit deadlifts instead of normal conventional and sumo, just from the heavy load and having more functional options in terms of, hey, I can target my hamstrings for better explosiveness. I can target my lower back, get increase the range of motion, make the exercise harder. So we've kind of subbed out lesser optimal exercises for better ones for my training right now. So in the video, I did 405 for a set of five on deficit deadlifts. Very good. I haven't trained deadlifts super heavy or normal deadlifts in months at this point. So I'm very happy with my performance in that, which means I probably could honestly hit 500 for a set of five um, fresh and sumo. And with a belt, probably even more than that because I don't train with a belt anymore. Um, to increase my ab strength without having to, you know, let a cop, let something else, you know, work for me. I want my body to be strong without it, so I don't need a belt to do my fight. Because who wears a belt in a fight? It's not even allowed. I, uh, why would I train with a belt on if I'm not going to be fighting with a belt? Anyways, um, ab wise, I'm training abs three times a week at least, 
and I'm gonna be doing, recently this last week, I wasn't able to hit a whole lot of classes at Fearless. I was able to do probably, uh, probably hit probably seven, maybe eight, um, just from you know work and having, being a very busy schedule. From now up until the fight, I'm doing all of the classes, which means a ton of cardio, um, which means I probably will have to increase my calories a little bit for those days, just so I don't go into a super big deficit and lose way too much muscle um, going forward. I have to cut probably about three, four more pounds of fat, and then I'll do a water cut past that to get down to 170, which is what I'm fighting at. Um, I'm hoping that muscle will be maintained just because, number one, I look like a beast. I, I want to look like a beast in the fight, but also I want that strength and power to be there as well, too, so I can just rip him off the wall, um, take him down, hold him down, beat him up, ground a pound, submission him, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, while having phenomenal cardio. Um, Diet-wise, I've reduced... This is sort of strategy that I've, I've approached is replacing carb sources with less dense more foods that are eating at higher volume so instead of i went from four cups of white rice to two cups of white rice with my pound of beef and then from two cups of rice to four cups of veggies mixed veggies the mixed veggies come out to about 120 calories total um and then the meats the ground beef pound of uh, 93 7 ground beef is literally less than 700 so in one meal i can have a huge massive meal less than 900 calories close to if not about 100 grams of protein, and it fills me up. That's exactly what I need. I use sauces, I use zero calorie sauces to sweeten it up, make it delicious, and I'm able, I'm able, to, able to eat more food at much less calories and keep protein super high via that route. For breakfast, I'll have three protein yogurts usually, um, and then like a protein shake. For lunch, when I'm at Culver's, I'll get like three grilled chicken breasts, and then um, put it on a bed of lettuce, and then put sauce, mushrooms, onions on top of that, delicious fills me up just fine i've been avoiding custard as much as i can just because all that extra sugar that i don't need is going to be huge in throwing off my progress so i've just been avoiding it as best i can i have a bit of a sugar tooth big a bit of a sugar addiction unfortunately so it's been a little bit hard some days i fail like last night i had a few spoonfuls of custard um which i regretted and then trained off at the gym to the best of my ability and so moving forward i'm going to be staying completely away from that as much as i can because i don't i'm not coming in overweight i refuse to come in overweight so that's that's about the brunt of my diet. Um, lots of ground beef, lots of uh, lots of protein, um, lots of veggies. I'm keeping it pretty basic, as simple as I can. Unfortunately, caffeine wise, it's still a little too high. Having about two energy drinks a day, um, in addition to maybe pre workout. So I'm been trying to uh, get that number down, um, just so my heart can be as healthy as it can be. Uh, recovery wise, um, I think recovery is probably one of the most overlooked parts of the gym. I've been going for seven to nine hours of sleep a night, seven hours minimum, eight optimally, and if I can, I get nine, just so I can recover from my workouts. It's hard, I'm always sore. I need to be better, I need to maintain muscle, I need to have my, my strength, my cardio go through the roof. Sleep is what's gonna help you rebuild. If you're not getting sleep, you're not getting strong. You need to recover. So I've been really focusing on going, going to bed. Um, I've been taking a melatonin, um, valerian root and chamomile and CBD drops before bed. Um, I don't smoke weed, so I've been using this because apparently CBD has a ton of health benefits that I just haven't really been using. And I was like, why not try it? Um, quite honestly, I don't feel anything when I'm on it, but I think it does enhance my sleep just a little bit, able to sleep a little bit deeper, as well as keeping lights in my bed, as in my room as low as possible, and uh, making sure that I haven't had food right before bed so my body's not digesting while it's trying to sleep. Um, other recovery techniques I've been using, ice baths intermittently, um, as well as getting my body out of the flight or flight response um, after a workout and getting it as calm as possible, making sure that I'm not training on super high stimulants. The bangs that I drink are during work usually. Um, while I'm training, I don't drink any energy drinks um, and I make sure to eat a carb and protein source before or after or both training so I can have as much fuel as I can to recover the muscle and build more um, after training. So it's all about getting taking in the nutrition you need um, with a good insulin response without overdoing it, underdoing it, and then recovering from it sleep-wise. Trying to make your body as efficient as possible. I really do think that the cardio has, has helped it quite a bit. And not training legs three times a week and not deadlifting three times a week, not benching three times a week has certainly helped it a ton too. I'll still do some accessories to hold on to the mass. I'm sorry, coach. I apologize, Arthur. Uh, I have done some side raises that weren't programmed that you gave me, unfortunately. Um, but ultimately, I have stuck really close to the program, so which means a lot of central nervous system work, which means I'm stimulating the central nervous system, less so the muscles. I'm lifting heavy to teach the body how to be explosive, powerful, without engaging the muscular system and breaking down muscle all too much. Um, if you wanna learn more about my coaching techniques and how I'm being coached and I'm gonna fight, follow Anti-Fragile Fitness on Instagram. Um, that is where I'm going to be 
uh, posting some of my progress as well as my coach posts to other people's progress, other teammates' progress on there. Um, and then follow my Jim Fearless MMA if you want to see some, some fight stuff from there as well too. August 5th is the time that I'm going to win. I'm going to dominate. I'm obsessed about winning. I'm going to win no matter what. Um, if you want to come get tickets for my fight and you know me personally, just shoot me a message. I'll get you tickets. And yeah, let's go. Hopefully I'll be recording more videos for you guys soon. Have a great day, guys. Peace.